Okay, this video is going to give an overview of how to install uh, XBMC or Kodi, which is a, a media kind of player and um, sort of general center hub to manage all your films, TV, music, that sort of thing. You've probably seen it on lots of other systems as well. XBMC is really popular. But it's um, recently been renamed Kodi, so you'll see that name a lot, uh, or sometimes sort of both intermingled. Uh, this is really easy to install and set up. Uh, there's even a sort of script already written for it. Um, it's just in case you haven't sort of seen this option tucked away yet or, or tried it out. It's really useful if you want to get your RetroPie config on your Raspberry Pi set up um, to use uh, movies and, and videos as well. Because you could attach those with a USB to the Raspberry Pi as well or even put them on the SD card. Um, or uh, a remote server like um, a NASBox or something like that. So I've logged in, I've just logged in as uh, user pi, password raspberry, and what I'm going to do is run the setup script. So this is on 2.4, but the same principle holds for most of the retro pi stuff, it's just maybe in a slightly different um, option, but pretty much the process would be the same. So if I change directory to, uh, that's not what I want to press, okay, so change directory to the retro pi setup, and uh, list that because I can't remember what it's called. And then I want to run the script, uh, so I'll run that as sudo full stop forward slash retro pi underscore uh, setup dot sh. Hit enter there, and we should get the screen up. There we go, the sort of config screen. And I want to choose setup. Uh, wait, no, it might be under experimental packages. Let's have a look. Um, experimental packages, there we go, install KD. So um, previous to this actually, one thing sometimes I found that helps, I'll just cancel out of this so you can see, and um, you've probably seen it in a lot of other uh, instructional videos, but it's useful to make sure that your Pi is up to date, and you can do that with sudo apt get update, and that command would make sure that the Raspberry Pi knows if any components are out of date in itself compared to the latest version so that kind of updates an internal database to check for versions and then once you've run that uh, the update then you can run the same command but upgrade instead of update and that will update the relevant out of date elements that's on the on the retro pi setup there won't be that many if you're using the latest image but it's useful to get those components up to date then when you've done that um, just run the setup script like we did before so we just go back into it now and go back into experimental packages and down here I mean obviously you've got lots of other experimental packages you can try out mostly around other emulators but the one we're doing at the moment is this one install KD so simply press enter on that and it goes and checks now I've already installed it on this so the output may well be slightly different or more brief than you'll get um, make sure that your Pi is connected to the network internet so it can download the extra details if it needs it and then you'll get probably thrown back to this screen hit cancel cancel out and, and it's done it yours will take longer if you haven't done that yet because like I say mine's already done it um, once you've done it you can run it straight from this interface you could type Kodi like that and press enter and it would run now if you have got an older version it might be that you've got to run XBMC like that instead but I think it's more likely that, especially if you're running a, a more recent image like 2.4 or something, it would be Kodi to run it. So I can press enter and it will run. But before we do that, I want to run emulation station because that's often what it's going to get booted into. So if I hit that, emulation station, there we go. Got uh, that running now and we can see how to run Kodi or XBMC from emulation station to make it um, easier easier to use really because you, you want a graphical interface that your joypad might control. Uh, I have tried controlling Kodi and XBMC with my remote um, sort of through the HDMI interface which usually works on other platforms but I'm struggling at the moment on this but it works fine with the keyboard um, and I haven't tried a mouse so I think pretty sure it works well with that but really if you've got any Kodi configuration questions you're better off looking at Kodi forums this is really just to get it working on the Raspberry Pi. So we're just booting up the emulation station. Mine's taking a little bit longer than usual because I've got quite a lot of ROMs currently configured there, so it's probably just processing the list there or looking through my game list XML files. But it'll be up in a minute now. Got the just grab the joypad connected to it. 
we go. And I've got a few systems connected there. And what the installation that we just ran did when we hit install Kodi would add something, I think, to the ports directory. So if we select that, five games available in ports, it's now added one. Uh, okay, so before I did have XBMC, but I think they must have updated it to actually call it Kodi because I had to tweak that to get it to work um, to rename the file it kicks off as Kodi. But it looks like as long as you update your RetroPy script, and you can do that by once you run the RetroPy script, there's an option at the bottom that says update RetroPy script just to make sure you've got the latest version. It looks like um, you'll just get Kodi, so it's uh, updated that. Now, if I select that to run with A, it should kick off properly. Okay, so it's quitting out. Let's see if we can read. Okay, there's this minor graphical error, but probably doesn't matter. And now it's thinking about loading something. And I've got Kodi open, so you can see that's the interface to Kodi. It's picked up the right time in the corner because I'm connected to the internet. And it's got the Kodi emblem in the top left. I don't think my joypad will work in here, no, um, I'll probably have to configure that in some way or other, but my um, keyboard will, so as you can see here, it's pretty responsive, and what I'm going to do is, because I'm using a Raspberry Pi B, not a B+, I've only got two USB ports, I'm just going to pull out the uh, joypad and put a USB stick in there so you can see what's going on. Okay, pulling out the... Um, joypad and putting in a USB stick it wasn't very happy with that at all and it restarted so I've just uh, you can see logging back in here user pi um, password raspberry and rather than go through and run it through emulation station I'll run it just through um, I'll just kick the command off um, and go back in so I've got my USB stick already plugged in there obviously if you've got four USB ports it's not really a problem but um, yeah I wasn't too happy with that so if I run Kodi by typing Kodi should get the same screen up again and this time I've got my keyboard plugged in and a USB stick and we can just look at the sort of basic configuration of how to, how to hook something up here so I'd go to uh, the videos option so I'm, I want to configure the videos again I mean it's quite responsive and you've got loads of options in the settings here and system info to set various different areas but what I want to do is go to videos at the moment and files and um, it's already configured, it's already got listed here, a USB disk, um, because it's just seen, that I haven't added that, it's just seen I've got a USB disk. If I go into there, um, you can see I've got a f um, some film directory. It's automatically added a ROMs folder because of the way RetroPie um, can copy ROMs from this USB stick to the SD, um, but that's not really relevant to Kodi. And um, so if I go in one of these, um, let's see how it runs. I'm not sure if the video capture is going to love it, but I'll try it anyway. Um, okay, so I'm running that. It's working in the corner. And uh, you should see a little bit of that. Now I'm going to try and escape out of that. There we go. It's still running in the background, I think. Not sure how to stop that one. Oh, there we go. Stop. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's really easy to use and to add areas, you just go files on here and you can choose, if I go up here, back a directory, back a directory, back a directory off the USB stick. The USB will appear automatically, so that's easy enough to add something, but you can choose add videos and then you can browse over here and then it brings up a whole load of different connection styles so you can connect to different devices in different ways. Now I know that my NAS box is a UPnP device, so I can select that, and I can see, there it is, so I can, uh, and I'm running Plex as well, so same thing, different ways of connecting to it, I can select that, I can say, right, okay, yeah, I have some video, and I want a folder, and I want a TV folder, and for argument's sake, I'll have Band of Brothers there, and I'll add that, so I'll say okay, and now, if I hit add there, and I go scroll down here and then hit OK. You can see it's added another sort of top level shareable folder. And if I go in there, I see the Band of Brothers that I just added in. So you can sort of add a top level folder or get more specific. But it's really easy to add. As you can see, there's the different areas there. You can put playlists on. There's various add ons that Cody um, will use. I'll get rid of that. Uh, you can do the same thing for pictures. 
music and even programs. And then again, the system, uh, it's got various sort of settings. System info just talks about uh, the IP address of the Pi and the screen res that I'm running. Uh, I can see I'm running Raspbian. Um, various other bits and bobs, it's details about the storage card, etc. etc. But that is Kodi. Um, like I say, I haven't got my joypad working on it or my remote control, but I'm sure that's possible if you read up on the Kodi forums. But the point is that you know it runs here. Um, I've also read that some people have problems quitting down here, this um, sort of standby. When you hit standby, you get an option of just exit it, power off this whole system, or reboot. Um, if I, I've chosen exit and it does seem to hang on a black screen, but there might be something I'm doing, I'm not sure. Um, and I haven't tried some of these other shutdown methods, I'm sure reboot does work. But in principle, you can see it's easy to navigate from emulation station to select it. Uh, come in here and uh, sort of watch a, a film or video that you've got hooked up with a Raspberry Pi. So if you've got the Pi stuck to the back of the telly, uh, this really good remote way of, you know, just with a small device of watching whatever films that you've got stored on your system. I um, hope that's helped for you people. If you do like the video, please hit the thumbs up thing on YouTube. And uh, if you want more RetroPie tips, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much.